for those who follow my channel, my apologies for not having so much content lately. Uh, as you can imagine, there's not a lot going on. There's always the fear of going out and uh, uh, catching the virus. So I'm being quite cautious about everything. Um, either way, um, so today I'm, uh, I'm excited actually because I'm gonna go over to uh, a friend of mine, uh, lend him a tool. And at the same time, I'm gonna go check out his Megan RS. I'm a huge fan of a Megan RS. It's gonna be the first time seeing it. It needs a lot of work, uh, but I can't wait for him to finish working on it so that I can uh, get a ride, hopefully drive it, and join him on a few track days. So yeah, uh, join me for this little ride, and uh, when I get there, I'll show you his car. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Let me know what you think about the video. Uh, if there's any other kind of content uh, that you expect from me uh, in regards of the STI I can show you anything that you're curious to see about the car um, I'm planning to to have a video uh, in about uh, two weeks or so uh, because it's gonna be the fifth year uh, that I've owned this uh, this car so five years with the STI I'll be preparing a nice video with some uh, uh, highlights of my ownership uh, things that I've learned and things that I don't like, which is very few. Um, how much I've spent in the last two years or so. I've been tracking things carefully in the past two years or so. Um, so I'll have a good um, a, a good set of numbers for you guys to have an idea of how much it costs. And it's not a nightmare as people think. Um, and uh, keep, keep in mind that I spend more than normal because I go to track days. If you're not gonna go to track days, the costs are gonna be somewhat uh, uh, um, more more reduced than the than the ones that I'll be presenting you. Either way, uh, let's go for a ride, and um, hopefully you enjoyed this one. So uh, as I was about to uh, get on the on the motorway, uh, the car started acting completely funny, losing boost, uh, losing power, obviously. And uh, when I opened up the hood, the blow-off valve came off, as you can see on the photo. I'm not gonna be hanging out there to record this. It's not safe to be on the side of the road like this. Uh, but yeah, I'm heading home now, and I'm gonna put the standard uh, blow-off valve back back on. But yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, this is not gonna be fun. The car has no boost, and it's so busy right now, um, but it, it's still drivable. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun.
devagarzinho. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I actually have to remove the strut bar now in order to actually get this piece off and then be able to actually pull it out and really just to be able to put the standard blow off valve back on. Wow, such a such a tight space. And you have to do so much work to do something so simple. Yeah, finally getting off. Had to remove the strut bar. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just to put back the original blow off valve. Here it is. Absolute pain to get this sorted. Now we have to put everything back on just because of this little thing. Unbelievable. Alright, obviously we're not recording every single step here, but uh, yeah, we already managed to put a few things back. The stock uh, blow off valve is almost fitted. That hole's there, absolute pain to put back. Um, and this one as well, obviously you need to fix a few things. Got to put the strut bar again, um, that piece, and yeah, we should be done. Hopefully no problems with this. So all back together. We're gonna uh, start uh, start the car now. Hopefully everything is gonna work as expected. And uh, yeah. So, as you can see, what uh, my initial plan was to go uh, visit a friend and lend him a tool, and at the end of the day, this turned out this turned out into uh, uh, fitting my standard blow-off valve back into my car. It is what it is. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Um, I am still gonna go visit my friend, uh, but that's going to be another day. Uh, but yes, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this uh, quite a a roller coaster of a video. But uh, yes, thanks, uh, thanks for hanging in there.